Hi, my name is Emma, and today I'm going to be reading What If You Had Animal Feet by Sandra Markle. What If You Had Animal Feet? What if one day you woke up and climbed out of bed and the feet you planted on the floor weren't yours? What if overnight a wild animal feet took their place at the end of your legs? Eastern gray kangaroos. And eastern gray kangaroos hind feet are super big, just as sole of an adult foot can be 18 inches long. Big feet help a kangaroo jump about 30 feet in a single hop. Each huge jump means a gang kangaroo can cover a lot of ground fast. If you had eastern grain kangaroo feet, hind feet, you would be able to jump up as high as six feet so you can reach the high shells with an ease. Housefly. A housefly feet have tiny claws for gripping. Plus, they have foot pads covering with like with hairy like parts that give off a gooey substance. So the fly can stick wherever it lands, even upside down on the ceiling. If you had housefly feet, you you would be a basketball superstar. You would you could run up the walls and cross the ceiling to drop the ball through the hoop and you never miss a shot. Green basket lizard. A green basket lizard's feet have long fringed toes frigged toes with the skin with skin the fring toes the fring toes spread out it when it slaps its fun foot down when it slaps its foot down on water air becomes trapped under each toe and when it runs fast the, this keeps the Lizard on it, the surface for at least 15 feet. If you had green basket lizard feet, you wouldn't need a bridge to cross a stream. You would be there, you would be on the other side in no time. Cheetah. A cheetah's foot is made up of soft pads, a center one and each toe pads plus nails. Sharp like that, it has a new name. Instead of calling it a foot, it's called a paw. A cheetah's paw pads are through, are tough and rigid like tire treads. And the cheetah sturdy nails act like cleats, so it paws keeps it from slapping, slipping during super fast sprints. These are amazing paws. Help a cheetah run as fast as 70 miles per hour. That is faster than any other animal on the land. If you had cheetah feet, you would be on time for school every day because you always catch the bus. Gray wolf. A gray wolf's feet are called paws too. When crossing snow, a gray wolf's toe spreads apart spreads and 
stretches apart. That makes its paws bigger and like wearing snowshoes spread apart. It's wide. This means its paws don't sink into the deep at in sink in as deep, which makes walking or running easier. If you had gray wool feet, you would be able to play in the snow barefooted and still have toasty warm toes. Duck-billed platypuses. A duck-billed platypus and has skin connecting its spread out toes. This type of foot is called a webbed foot. The platypus front feet even have skin that sticks out beyond its toes, making them perfect swimmer, swimming flippers. But in the min, min, minute it starts to walk, dig, or surf, or Scratch. This skill puts pulls back so the platypus can use a sturdy, sturdy, sharp nails. If you had duck billed platypus feet, you would be a fast swimming hero with built in weapons. Barn owl. A barn owl's feet have four toes tipped with talons, which are long, curved, sharp nails. Usually three of the toenails aim frontwards and one backwards. But it can swing a second toe on each foot to the back. This helps keep an extra tight grip on wedgie prey like pretty such as rats or mice. If you had barn owl's feet, you would never have to be, oh, you would never have to be behind behind over to pick up things. Bend over to pick up things. Aardvark. Each of the toes on an aardvark's feet ends in a sharp, sturdy toenail. The front ones are shovel-shaped. These are great for digging burrows for their home or find ants and termites its favorite food. If you had aardvark feet, feet, you could dig super fast, which means you would be able to find the buried treasure first. Giant African millipede. A giant African millipede's body is made up of segments a baby starts out with just four or five segments, but as it, as it grows, it adds on more. Each segment has about 40 feet. An adult may be, have, have maybe 40 segments long with a lot of feet, and it needs every single one it can travel by tunneling through the ground. So while some feet are busy walking, others are moving dirt out of its way. If you had giant African millipede feet, you wouldn't need anyone else to be a part of your 
be a part of you. You would just be a marching band of one. Mountain goat. A mountain goat's foot are encased like hard nails, like covering. Sharp in that way. It has a special name. Instead of calling it a foot, it's called a hoof. A mountain goat's hoof is split in two halves and each can move separately. That, that, lets, that lets it get a good grip in rocky high places. If you had mountain goat feet, you would be f you would be all you need to rescue a kitten. White rhino r white rhinoceros, r rhinoceros. rhinoceros. Each white rhino rhinoceros foot is a lasting pad plus three stuffed toes, tipped with a hoof-like nail. With each step, its foot pad pressure down, spreading the toes wide apart. This lets the rhino's feet support its heavy body and it and it needs the support. An adult rhino can weigh as much as 7,000 pounds. If you had white rhinoceros, rhinoceros feet, you would, you, your family wouldn't need a car because you could carry them, carry everyone all at once. Wild anime, animal feet will be cool for a while, but you don't need to feed yourself, grab onto food, run on water, or stand upside down on the ceiling. And you don't, and you don't need your to stay well groomed or taste taste what you step on. But if you could have wild animal feet for more than a day, which kind would you would be right for you? Luckily, you don't have to choose. The feet that end of your legs will always be people feet. They are what you need to run, walk, dance, skip, hop, even stand on, in one place with the right foot where you could do lots more. Plus, your feet can look very stylish while being active. <laughs>